Hey guys, welcome back to May May's Happy Table. Part two. Part two. It's me and my brother here. And this is part two of our Bucky's taste test. Um, I bought a bunch of things from Bucky's. A bunch of uh, some of the some of the stuff was viral. Um, if you are on TikTok and you've seen some of this before, probably some of this stuff we just thought it was interesting and thought that it would be a fun video to film me and my brother trying it. So. We got some, I hope y'all can see this. We have some pickled okra. Brittany's favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have some pickled garlic. We have some green olives stuffed with feta cheese. And we have some pickled quail eggs, which me and my brother are so excited to try. <laughs> um, so, y'all, if y'all are familiar with Bucky's, you know Bucky's is a huge gas station that has this massive, it has a million gas pumps, and inside of it, they sell clothes, food, candy, some of everything. Grills. Grills, pastries, just everything. Yeah, like bakery. Um, and what they're known for is like their brisket sandwiches, like their barbecue sandwiches, and their um, candy that they make there. Um, they're known for a lot of things, y'all. Everybody likes something different from Bucky's. Um, they sell a million things in there. It'll take you. You can shop in there for hours, literally. Um, also, what they're known for is their bathrooms. Um, they're known for having like super clean bathrooms. That's why a lot of people like to stuff at Bucky's and their doors go all the way top to bottom. You know, a lot of people don't like about like the standard American public bathrooms that the door doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Well, the doors at Bucky go all the way to the bottom. So and another thing that uh, Bucky um, is known for, and I guess I'll notice because I have kids is they have dozens of flavors of ices i mean I, i've never i've never seen anything like that i think we went there last time and it had 24 different flavors of ices so my kids made the biggest what they call hurricane icy you can think of with a with a dip from this to all 24 flavors and i'm sure it was horrible but they, <laughs> they, 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 they thought it was great you know <laughs> um did they like it they said they did, but it's hard yeah. for me to believe that some of those flavors mixed together. <laughs> so, I don't believe. I don't, I just can't see I've actually like never had an icy it. from Bucky's, um, so now that I know, I'm gonna go try one because I love ice. But like she said, Bucky's so big, you could miss half the stuff that's going on in there. I mean, it is huge. It's huge. It's as big as a Home Depot. Yeah, it's massive. And uh, if you are in Alabama or the South or anywhere, you know it's like a million degrees outside. So I'm definitely gonna get me an icy <laughs> one of these mm -hmm. days, um, cause it's hot out here, y'all. So you ain't never had the ices before. I've never even seen like they icy machines. It's it's big, y'all. That's to give you an example of how big it is compared to a regular gas station. I miss the whole icy icy section, fountain drink section completely. Um, I remember you telling me how those those food aromas and they, how they, they just smell so delicious. Yeah, it always smells good. And I have a video of me going to Bucky's on my channel. I will drop the link to my channel in the description box if you want to see um, my video at Bucky's. I also, in my video, try one of the things that we're going to be trying today. So I've actually already tried one of these, um, but I'm going to try it again for the plot. Mm -hmm. Um and tell them about the uh, salt water taffy that you oh, brought. Oh, yes, it's, it's you gotta, awesome. Oh. Where is it? Where is it? I got it. Let me see. Can I get Brian to get it? I'm going to show you something that they have at Bucky's. Is it behind? Is it where Mario is? It's down in the wash. No. So while she's doing that, y'all, um, we going up. You all right? Mm-hmm. Just gotta make sure I don't knock this off. Um, Ring right over. 
So in the last video, um, or the first video we made about trying different things from Bucky's, my mom mentioned how, or my, my brother mentioned how I am. I am adventurous. I will try certain things, but what I don't like, y'all, I just don't like. Um, I am going to be slightly adventurous with this because there are two things on this table that I'm not fond of at all, but I'm going to try one of them. But one, the other one, I, I just can't do it, y'all. This is the the saltwater taffy. This was Nana's and Denny's sort kind. I just uh, consolidated them cons to one bag because so I bought um, a banana. bag of the banana and a bag of the assorted, and we've been tearing it up, y'all. So she, it, it was enough to put all in one bag. So this is it the is banana good. and this assorted combined. Um, but this is what it looks Let like. Let me tell you this, Brittany. You brought me one and told me to try. The cinnamon, but one of them wasn't cinnamon. It mm -hmm. wasn't I, I can't think of what it was, but it was so good. I was, ooh, I was expecting cinnamon because you get the first one you gave me was the cinnamon, cinnamon mm -hmm. but the other one it was something else, and I can't think of what flavor it was now. But it was really good. All right, y'all. So we gonna get started. All right. On to the first one: pickled okra. And if you watched the previous video, this is one thing that uh, Brittany just doesn't do. So I'm going to give you my honest yeah. opinion on this. <laughs> yeah, I don't do okra, y'all. I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it be more for us, we love okra. <laughs> one of my coworkers, y'all, tried to get me to try, like, some freeze-dried okra. And I was like, no, I don't like okra. She's like, just try it. And I'm guessing she tried to convince me because, you know, I guess a lot of people don't like okra because of the slime. And, you know, if it's freeze dries and not slimy, I just literally don't like the taste of it. Um, so I was like, girl, leave me alone about this okra before I get mad. Um, <laughs> but so my brother's going to try the okra, y'all. And so I know how she don't yeah. like it, so I didn't even expect her to try it. But we, me and Mario and, and uh, Kim looking, we probably can work with it. Seems like you like it. No, we don't. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just shaking my head. It's, I was thinking about it. Okay. It's not bad at all. Like I said, uh, there's no slime to it. Um, I, lo I love the flavor of okra, the taste in general. So it's good. It's got a slight pickle taste. Um, out of some of the other things we had, it's the pickling liquid itself. It's a little less uh, prominent, meaning that um, this sour? really, no, it just really tastes like okra. You know, it doesn't taste like Pickle. I mean, it, it it tastes like a version of okra, and uh, one of the main things I I saw when I ate this is that my daughter Kendall would love this. Mm -hmm. She yes, loves she all will. forms of okra, like I said, which is very unusual for a lot of children. Mm -hmm. But um, fun with fried okra. <laughs> she loved that fried okra. So on I a just... scale of one ten, I think I give this a a solid six or seven. It's you know. It's not, it's, it's, you know, I'm not throwing fireworks about it, but it's, it's enjoyable. I like it. I mean, I, I would keep a joy at home because, uh, I'm sure my daughter would have it eaten up in a weekend. Um, mm -hmm. but it, it, it's pretty good. It's not too, not too sour. Uh, the consistency of the pickle, uh, the okra, which was, I was kind of wondering what would the consistency be, but, uh, it, it, it's still strong. It's, it's, as you can hear when I was doing it. It's still surprisingly pretty crisp to have been in that it's pickle, crunchy. that that um, pickling liquid. All this to, stuff has been surprisingly crunchy. I'll try to try it. <laughs> uh, like in our last video, we did green beans and asparagus. All of it is still surprisingly crunchy and crisp for it to be in the pickling liquid. I kind of thought it would be soggy too, but none of it has been soggy. You got some uh, mm -hmm. uh, chemical, I mean some stuff you put in the crisp up vegetables and stuff. When you pick them like that. But whatever they did, it a, worked. It's a method, you know, with throwing something to it, sitting in the water and this and that and all that, which I won't go through. But, so, uh, up next, y'all, we are going to do some pickled garlic. If y'all watch my channel, y'all know I review this on my channel, but I'm going to do this again with my brother. Um, in our last video, we tried the habanero garlic. So, if y'all by chance are seeing this video before you see the other one, Go watch the first video to see how we feel about the habanero garlic. Um, yep. 
We're gonna try this one next. Make sure you clear your palette. Well, you I haven't, you haven't try tried this thing yet. Okay. <laughs> when y'all switched over, I tried that uh, habanero garlic. It was, oh, it was so good. I couldn't believe it. I said, I can sit up and just eat this as, as is. Nah, I want someone to, the way this is packaged, you know, when I think of this as a snack smells good. or snack or whatever, mm -hmm. I just want someone to explain to me where the thought of let's snack on a whole clove of pickled garlic came from, but it, I will see. People I see were doing it, y'all. I see older people eat garlic and onions like that. Back in the day, some people were no joke. They didn't, they didn't come to play. People, they were, I see one of a lady bite into a, a eat an onion. Like you would eat an apple. Like a sweet onion or just a regular onion? I didn't ask her. I was just so mad. I was like, wow. <laughs> and she's bring onion sandwiches and stuff like that. But she would just crunch down because I was like, I was in awe. I bet she was. That was back in the 70s. She was, a, uh, we worked at the same place. I bet she wasn't pleasant to work around with that smell. <laughs> I don't know. But I know she was eating that onion like that. So. Um, this was viral on TikTok, y'all, the pickled garlic. Um, so, again, I like the pickled garlic. I like it a lot. Um, I love the smell of it. I actually think... Will you tell me what you think about it first? Um, like I said, uh, my question was why, but uh, I can see now. Why not? It's, it's good. <laughs> it's, mm -hmm. it's actually... It's, it's tasty. Uh, it's a clove of garlic in this pickling liquid, but it's it's enjoyable. I mean, cool. I can I can see that you could just you know snack on this. I've been eating mine, y'all, because I saw on TikTok. Y'all know I love TikTok. That uh, garlic is good for your skin, so I've been eating my pickled garlic, y'all. But um, mm -hmm. tell me good. what you think compared to the habanero. I actually like the habanero better. Because it, I mean, basically, when you think about it, if this is pickled garlic and this pickled habanero garlic, something a little extra to it, and that little back kick of that habanero, it adds to it. This is this is good, but that's that one's better. I agree. I like the habanero one better. It's a little a little more interesting. Oh, yeah. All right, up next, y'all, and I think I'm gonna love this. Uh, I will too. Is the feta cheese stuffed green olives? I love olives and I love feta on my salads. Same, I love olives. I love cheese. Same, mm -hmm. same here. I guess we get it in the family. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I like olives. I like green olives. I, I like black olives. olives. I like too. all kinds of olives. And these are some big olives. Oh, yes. Jumbo olives. Okay. So, did y'all know that? Um, Again, and I said this in the last video I'm about sorry. jalapenos, yeah, is it. that a lot of people don't know if the jalapenos come in a jar, they're technically pickled. Some people just think that's how jalapenos come. But same with olives. Did y'all know you can't just eat a plain olive off a tree? It's not edible. It has to be pickled or brined in some sort. Also, um, I mean, it's so, that's why you just never see like you can't go anywhere and just buy a raw olive. They're all pickled and fermented some kind of way. What's the reason for that? That They're you not, can't eat it? It's the taste of it. Maybe poison. The, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. the, the, the taste or the fact that it's, it's toxic uh, until it goes through a process? They say it's disgusting. Like, every person I've heard say this, say it's completely inedible, not uh, fermented in some kind of way. Okay. Did you got some of that fat in my baby? Mm -hmm. This is good, y'all. Mm. I like this. I like this a lot. It's really good. Oh, wow. I'd eat that whole jar of that. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a good that's a that's very snackable. Um, you say I like olives. That green have good green olive taste. The 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 brine and liquid is good. Um, the feta is very pronounced. It's, you, you can taste it. It tastes good. Um, I enjoy that a lot. Um, I've had garlic stuff. Um, 
uh, all the stuff, the garlic, and I have it, and I always, you know, I used to buy it all the time with the pimento in it. They had those too, y'all. They had those at Bucky's. They had the garlic stuffed olives, and they had blue cheese stuffed olives. I like blue cheese. I don't know if Mario likes blue cheese. I don't like blue cheese, but I, I, love, I like this feta. Um, what would you get it? On a scale of one to ten, that's that's getting up there, cause I'm I'm an olive guy. That's an eight easily. I'd give it an eight too. Oh wow, those garlic, garlic taking taking the lead big time. Uh, here I, we go. Olives. <laughs> <laughs> what right, did Charlie. I say? The olives. You said garlic. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I thought the olives, uh, the garlic had it. Taken. Here's yeah. the huffing and puffing, guys. This is this is something I'm doing because I love my mom. Same. <laughs> this is my my willing to be a team player, even though I don't like what mm -hmm. I don't like. Don't shake it. That look at nasty. You, um, I was trying to show them. This so this y'all. This is also a viral sensation. These are pickled quail eggs. It has some spices in here, some jalapenos in here. Y'all, I'm going to be honest with you, especially if you watched my video on my channel. I told y'all how I feel about pickled eggs, but I'm going to be a team sport since my brother took took one for the team and didn't make me eat the okra. I'm going to I'm gonna eat the, the pickled egg. Um, we, I never had no quail egg. That's that's really what's throwing me. That's, that's, throwing, that's <laughs> throwing me. I mean, it ain't the, the pickled part. It's the... What is a quail egg? <laughs> Can you remember the story I told you about my daddy when I was young and the quail eggs and the bird eggs and stuff? Mm -mm. I don't they look like a giant piece of garlic. <laughs> it's a quail egg, but it, like she said, it's, yeah, it looks like a big it's clove pickle. of garlic. Oh, and, it's, like that and it ain't just pickled. I can see jalapenos in here. I'm going to show it to you, y'all. What is Believe that? It or not, How I about like the aroma? Pickle. I like a regular chicken pickle. That's what it look like, y'all. I've never had any kind of pickled egg before. I've seen them. It smells spicy. And I said, why? <laughs> this was a viral on um, TikTok, y'all. People were talking about it's so good. It's so good. Did y'all clear y'all palates? I did. I did. This aroma. Let us know now. Let's see. It leaves, smells spicy. It leaves a little to be desired. This, this, oh, you, yeah, All right. Let's see. I like it. It's got a little, it's got more pickle, vinegar in the smell than the rest of it. I'm nervous, y'all. They like it. They like it. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Oh. Mario My favorite thing about this is that I tried it. <laughs> I mean, I could believe that I say no. <laughs> Do it taste like an egg? But yes. And yeah. You, like I said, um, I was scared of the quail egg part of it, honestly, more than the pickled or anything else. Never had a regular pickled egg either. I've but, had that and I like a pickled, regular pickled egg. You know, I'm a country, I'm from the country, but I'm not a country boy. You're from Arkansas, I don't like. I'm I'm not a outdoorsy type person, so game what I consider quail. You know, I, I'm not into stuff like that. So, but um, honestly, it tastes, I've had tastes duck like an egg. egg before. Tastes like an egg. You know, I've had duck tastes egg. Tastes like a pickle. I didn't egg. like. I didn't like that. That was scram. That was too much. I, I'm sure I got so, that memory out of my head, and it never went. I'm, I'm not disgusted by any means, other than you know, after I tasted it, it I'll eat a quail egg again in a heartbeat. There's no no problem with that. Mm -hmm. This is definitely like I said. I thought I saw it in there. This is has a little spicy in it. Okay, now that I'm looking. There's no question. There's a slice of jalapenos in there. So it's not just pickled. It's pickled spicy. Does it mention spicy on here? Mm -mm. It doesn't, but um, looks like it's some chopped garlic in here, too. But, um, I yeah, like I mean, liquid. I could believe that uh, people ate this and like it. I mean, some things I see on uh, TikTok and stuff, I think people are basically trying to bait you to try some foolishness. But, um, if people tried this and liked it, I I, I can believe it, I, 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 I don't dislike it at all. I don't like it, y'all. Um, 
<laughs> and I don't like also regular pickled eggs. I will say one thing about a quail egg compared to a regular egg, and maybe this may be one of the reasons I don't like it. So one thing about me is I'll eat the whole egg if it's fried or anything like that. Um, but you don't but like the yolk? I'm not crazy about the yolk of an egg. I prefer the egg boiled so I can separate the yolk in the egg and I just eat the the white part. Mama said I used to call yeah, it a yolk, baby the, ba chick. the baby chick. You hear yeah, mama, you eat the baby chick. So, <laughs> and I'm like, oh. And I don't and I don't have no problem with the yolk. But when she would call it the baby chick, it just did so I'm like, oh. <laughs> so with the quail egg, I don't know if y'all can really see in here, but it is Great. a very big yolk to white ratio. I was gonna um, say it's very yolk. Is it's it's, it's oh, yeah. mainly yolk and very little white. And I think that's also one of the reasons I don't like it. Um I don't like the texture of this pickle. You can't tell um, the white out from white. You can, but it's primarily yolk. I mean, this well, is you know that pickle gonna mostly, change the texture. Yeah. This is mostly yolk. I mean there there's very little white on this egg. Um I give it a one out of ten. I'd never eat this again. I'd give it a six out of ten. Meaning, if you got one, I'll eat it. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go buy it. So you glad you tried it? So you're gonna yeah, I am. I, I am because, uh, like I said, I see them in the grocery store, and uh, I love the Food Network, and I see them cooking a quail egg all the time on there, and I'm like, that's just unnecessarily. Um, foolish you know, <laughs> cook, cook a chicken egg you know why, why are you doing that but um it tastes like a normal egg it's just smaller so uh yeah i say five no i'll go six wouldn't buy it again would say if you want to be adventurous definitely give it a try it's, it's not disgusting by any means well it's all about ask you one thing about who you ask about it <laughs> what do you think my granddaughter kim would be uh, Kendall doesn't like yolk, so you know. <laughs> Kendall, was... Kendall's like uh, uh, her TT Brittany over here. She, we in general, she'll she'll eat a scrambled egg, but she doesn't. Uh, we usually boil them for her because she don't like yolk. So yeah, I remember that. Now. She wouldn't want this yolk heavy egg either. So I I am glad that I tried it. Um, glad you I... tried it too. I always your horizon. Um. Well, you can. Yeah. I do yeah. like eggs, y'all. Like regular eggs, but yeah. Um, pickled eggs just confirm to me they're just not my thing. Mm -hmm. So, I hope y'all like this video. And I hope y'all enjoyed uh, watching me and my brother over here. Hey, everyone. I, you know, I'm always looking on um, watching Brittany and May, May, May from a distance. Um, I've really enjoyed doing these videos with them. I've seen her do some with um, uh, my uh, children when they were younger. <laughs> um, we actually made a video that we put on there with the whole family that we made in Ozark. Um, that was at Christmas time. Uh, at Christmas time, it was just us. You know, it wasn't it wasn't any cooking going on. And if you all want to take a moment, I do have one video on oh, here yeah. from many years ago, <laughs> and I made my famous uh olive garden zupa toscana soup and and what it is is the if you go to olive garden you know they have the potato soup with the italian sausage and kale uh basically i saw that recipe oh you and did. You i have that. been asked to make that at every <laughs> event on both sides on my wife's side i just made some recently for father's day um um, up there we did a Italian themed uh, meal uh, but I've been asked to make this so it's Christmas time Thanksgiving whatever we always gonna have that it's and it's uh, on May May's channel it's uh, called the Olive Garden Zupa Toscana I promise you if you want something different uh, you should try this if you want something that you make and you have people say hey can you make that again uh, you should try this um, let me tell you something about that too before I forget it. Sorry to cut you off. I have a, a supporter. And if I'm not mistaken, and if you are the person and you're listening to me, let me know in the comment section was did I get your name right or you the right person? It's a Mr. Jones. I forgot to tell you, he told me he wanted to thank he sent me a letter, a very nice letter. 
I, it, it's unbelievable how many letters that I get from my supporters. And I am a letter girl because back in the days, we sent letters and I sent care love packages up to my son and uh, his kids simply because my grandmother lived up in New York and she would always send us, us boxes and stuff like that. And that was an unexplainable joy and a whatever, a just a wonderful part of my childhood. And I told my son, I wanted the girls to experience that and did, but he didn't like, he didn't know about the little extra I was going to do in there. I sent a little message for him and I sent something for him that I know he liked and I sent something for my daughter-in-law. And I think they enjoyed them boxes. So when Mr. I think his name is Mr. Jones, if I'm not mistaken, he told me to thank your son for, you know, that recipe and teaching him how to uh, I mean, showing him how to make that uh, Zupa to come. What is it? Zupa Toscana. Toscana. Yeah, and he don't have Zupa. to go to Garden to get it. Yeah, well, I've been meaning to tell you that. And I mean, he said this a while back, but I just always forget it. Because I was saying, I would just like to, res I would be going to respond back in a video. And I tell you, it would fly away from my mind just like a bird. But I was saying, well, I don't care. I said that was for my personal enjoyment when I get letters and stuff like that for my subscribers and stuff sharing uh their appreciation and how i brought back such wonderful me uh, memories guys you know guys i share i have more than day cooking on there but it's simple more than day cooking showing you that it's all um, it's a different way i share excuse me i share old landmark style cooking you do not need every spice in the world to make a dish world spice they did not do that back then don't let nobody fool you and that food was memorable to this day you can't because you could they use food us uh, the seasoning that would just enhance your food and when you get that natural flavor like we had back in the day and the food was raised a more organic way than not every type of hormone and all the stuff that they add to stuff now to just keep it preserved because they have it in the store they do not realize it's a different flavor i tell my son my son loved the tomatoes and stuff that i put in the garden and my granddaughters loved the cucumbers and stuff that we had because when i was when they was down i really hadn't did started the cucumbers but my i got some wonderful neighbors Hey, Misty, and, and, mm -hmm. and uh, I can't even think of my Gordon, name. So, Gordon, Gordon. Mm -hmm. Gordon don't, don't, don't get me, Tucker. Mm -hmm. But they always would bring me uh, those cucumbers. And and it really helped because uh, I, my oldest granddaughter, she when we finish up breakfast, I would just fix one up and have in the refrigerator for her whenever she got ready to go in and snack on it. I just put a little salt and pepper on it. And one day I said, I'm gonna do it like we used to do it back in the days. Come on, come on, old old days. And I sprinkle a little vinegar on it. And I, you know, cause they very they could be very picky now. And I didn't know if she was gonna eat it. Both of them ate. I mean, they were just loving that. And Kenna, Nana, you gonna have Nana, you got to uh, do another cucumber. Cause Cassie pretend like she didn't she didn't like it and she wasn't eating it and she had eaten it all. I said, okay, baby, man, I got more. I cut up two instead of one. <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you guys that he told me to tell my son to thank my son for that recipe with that soup. That you know, he fixed it, he prepared for me. And when he come home, that's something I always want him to prepare. And I asked him about, you know, sharing a video with you guys. Cause his soup is woo, it is so good. And I love it because, you know, usually when I go to the Olive Garden, I could just, that's, that's, that's what I could really make my meal off. But I got to have my little entree, guys, okay? Yeah. Y'all, yeah, so um, if you want to see, well, it was a long time ago, y'all. They don't look like that no more. Mm -hmm. um, there are videos of my nieces on my mom's channel doing a seafood mukbang. Oh, wow. Um, now those videos make we also did a video me and my brother of doing some um like holiday 
games and challenges yeah. and stuff like that. Now those videos were older back when my mama first started her channel before we got more sophisticated equipment. So they may be a little hard to watch. <laughs> tell, them, tell, them about, <laughs> tell them about the almost disaster with the uh, mukbang you did with the seafood ball. So I mean, my that nieces, was... y'all, they were so excited to do that mukbang. They were so excited to be on their nana's YouTube channel doing a seafood mukbang because they loved YouTube when they were younger and they were so excited, y'all. They We were all in the throes of it. They cracking crabs and eating that shrimp and all of that. Only for me to realize about almost when they were finished that I never pressed record. And tell them what you said. Britain said, oh my God. I was like, oh my God, I'm not recording. And both of them said at the like, same time, they said, <laughs> They were like, TV! <laughs> so, we started recording from that moment forward, but they had eaten the majority of it. Yeah, I got up and I told her, I said, I told her, I said, settle down, girl, don't panic. And I, I said, Brittany, how much did you get? When you stopped, whatever, we went through that. And she showed her, I said, okay, girls, y'all get, get it back together. Because they had about eight all the food yeah, on the table. It was about over. And so I came on and did the intro telling, explaining to you guys what had happened. But I, I couldn't disappoint my granddaughter. So mm -hmm. no, I had to think of something. And I and we took it up at that point. And they finished off their uh, uh, seafood ball. And they were so happy. Because they was like, oh. <gasps> T.T. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but, yeah. Those are fun videos, y'all. Again, we didn't have the lighting and camera equipment that yeah, we do lovely. now. So, they are a little hard on the eyes, but they're still fun to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, if y'all go back and look at them. Like I said, those little girls don't look like that anymore. They big girls and taller than me. Taller Beautiful. than mama. Beautiful. Uh, uh, young teenage <laughs> um, girls. Oh, taller than me and mom and probably daddy too. It don't um, too much to be taller. You don't put true. me up and I'm average. True. Um, but, <laughs> uh, you try to put with that. Yeah, they, they taller than mama, you. I'm short. Mama's average height and they taller than mom. That's my point. So, yeah. Um, they, I'm and like, my dad, they probably taller than my dad too. Um, no, Kelsey's, Kelsey's so. probably about 5'9". Yeah, probably so. 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, She's kind of tall. But, uh, and they ain't done growing yet, I don't think. Or what's in, what age? 15 and 16, right? I mean, no, they're 14, 14 and 15, 15. right now. Mm -hmm. So they may be done growing, y'all. You know, it's children. Children. But, uh, so. Well, we, yeah, we just really enjoyed uh, talking with you guys. You know, I don't normally do this. I don't do lives. I don't do anything. And, like, my first YouTube uh, video I got, my son, he uh, blessed me with that one, and it was the wrong. It was a GoPro, something to go outside and do some kind of speed or whatever. Well, we didn't know what we was doing, and we had to, you well, know, had first to person camera. <laughs> I didn't, you know, we didn't know what we were doing. She said she wanted to do it uh, for the kids. Uh, yeah, well, like this video diary that. of what for the kids, and um, so I bought a camera, and it was a GoPro, and everybody knows that that's something. <laughs> You know, you're not meant to record yourself on that. You record what you're seeing. So mm -hmm. we started from that, trying to use that to, uh, you know, growing with it. Because um, I, I didn't know, I didn't know anything about YouTube. They taught me my, my I see my granddaughters when they would come down and spend the summer with us. They be watching that stuff and key 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 and key key key. You know, <laughs> you grandmother, you want to know what your kids key key keying about. To make sure, because they're not with around the parents, they will try to sneak and do something they ain't supposed to. But I know my uh, son and daughter-in-law, they're very good parents, but we got some experience. We know that they're, and I said, what is, I see, y'all come over here and show me what y'all kiki and the ha-ha in the back. Let me kiki ha-ha. Then the baby girl, now I see this head guy and this and that there and all that. And my oldest granddaughter was sitting over. She said, Nana, she's not supposed to watch that. Daddy told her don't do that. <laughs> and uh, all of that kind of stuff. Because the guy was, when I listened to it, I said, Kim, I said, Kim I'm going to have to check with your uh, uh, parents before you continue to watch this stuff. Because it wasn't it, it, it wasn't using no uh, derogatory language and stuff. But the guy was just too stupid. <laughs> and saying stuff that, you know, a child, with well, a child mind, they may think that stuff is real and they can try it. And I particularly didn't like that. And when I when I talked to my son, he said, no, nah, she's not supposed to be watching that. 
But anyway, you I know, got that's what, what that's how so I got. Funny. Oh, sorry. What was always so funny to me when they were little, I never understood why they wanted to watch other kids open and play with toys. That just didn't make no sense to me. I was like, why don't you just play with the toy yourself? Why are you watching them open and play with the toy? And now I'm in a full grown adult watching people do unboxing videos of stuff that they bought from the store and trying it on and clothes and purses and all of that. So I guess that's the adult version of the watching children <laughs> open toys and play with them. So I, I find, full I, you know, I've watched a lot. Y'all call, they call me the gadget king, queen guys. And uh, so I, you know, I I, I kind of peep over at some of uh, when somebody be unboxing some type of appliance, a little gizmo, cooking gizmo, or whatever. But I ain't never really just got you into done a lot unboxing of it. videos. Yeah, but it, it's never something. It was one that you was you said, "Mama, won't you do that or whatever?" When then I did the one where I had to collab with people. And you All kind of companies real? be reaching out to me about collabing different things or whatever and I be saying and I don't and I know I don't speak for nobody. I said my supporters ain't ain't no more interest in that. <laughs> yes I am. <laughs> and I don't even bother with it. They you know all they offer you is to giving you the stuff um free. And if y'all see where I keep my gadgets and appliances and stuff you'll say I don't need any more because I really, I'm really giving it away. Brittany can come here and shop at my house. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks she wanted. I'll be asking my son, you want some of this stuff? And I didn't realize I had collected that much of that stuff over the years because, you know, for birthdays, Christmas, or whatever, they all, we always try to get each other something that they want them, they, uh, that we want or something that we need. And they will say, they may come to my house and say, Mama needs this or whatever. And they always be on point. But yeah, guys, I got a whole lot of that stuff. And I'm not looking to collect any more of that stuff. And I got to go for that. It's, it's something that probably, when I go on, they're going to have the biggest pile outside that street. <laughs> and with my little old figurine and all that, that kind of stuff. Well, like my mama told us when we was, you know, telling her about what she should and what she should be getting rid of and all that, she said, um, let me tell you something. I like my stuff the way I like my stuff. <laughs> she said, when I pass, y'all can get it a raised uh, H-E double hockey stick about it. <laughs> she said, but while I'm alive, I'm going to raise H-E double hockey stick when you guys try to bother me, tell me what to do. You didn't play, my mama name, we call her Madea. And she was a real Madea. <laughs> you didn't have to wonder about what she was saying. And to me, just as sweet as she could be. Somebody else may not think so because you didn't have to wonder about how she was feeling. <laughs> yes, and then too. when we would try to talk to her like, Madea, Madea, you know, she'll see a friend all she hadn't seen in a while. She said, ooh, ooh, baby, I ain't seen you in a while. You know, got so huge. And mm -hmm. Lord, me and my sister be about to die. And mother, you know, oh, they know I was just, you know, on that long, you know, what, 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 what are y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, right, I'm guys. Gone. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And remember to think good. Let Mario say something. You, you say it. Uh, uh, and remember to <laughs> do what Brittany's getting ready to say. Um, okay, remember <laughs> to think positive, use your common sense, and remember that May May loves you. And bye. bye. See you in my next video, guys.